All right, so here we go with the roll bar test fit. Number one, lifting the same by hand. One person. Now I got it, kind of lifted it all in there by hand, crawled right in, since there's no seats in the car, makes it easy. I'm gonna go ahead and wiggle it, make sure I'm not crushing any wires, and mark holes of where to drill. All right, so after a little bit of fiddling around, I got it aligned and I have it centered, and what I'm going off of as a gauge to have it centered is not only the holes align here at the edge of the slot, about the same amount of the edge of the slot on each side, as you can see over there, but also the soft top, the position I left it is like halfway down. You can see the clearance between the roll bar right there is about the width of my index finger. So if I take you around to the other side, I wanted to make sure that gap was about the same here. As you can see, it's pretty much dead nuts centered right now. Uh, the, I wanted to show you guys the, the routing of these harnesses. It was a little tricky to get in. You got to pop some clips out. I popped my ABS sensors for the rear wheels out and pushed the grommet down to get me some clear sliding action without, you know, fraying those wires. But I have all this running on top, and you can kind of set the bar in and kind of lift it with one hand and kind of work these back around. You got to, there's a clip that holds this one down to the frame right behind the roll bar here. You gotta pop that from the frame before you put the roll bar in. So this is all loose. Kind of feed it behind is the way I have it. And that one gets a little tight, but not really, there's still a little bit of slack there to the other side, because I'll show you the routing on the other side is pretty tight too. The plastic conduit the wires are in is a larger diameter on this side, as you can see right here. That's a larger diameter than the other side. So it definitely gets kind of pinched in this little area, but I kind of wiggled everything around, make sure nothing was getting pulled too tight. It is a little tight back here too, to the roll bar. Kind of had to slide that up when trying to center the roll bar. But all in all, I'd say it didn't go too bad. Um, it's in there centered. I'm gonna take a Sharpie and mark my holes that I have to drill. All right, so to give you guys a look at where the holes are that I marked when the roll bar was in there, I figured it'd be helpful for you guys to see. There's the three right there. And that's the bar the slot was through right there. Three Sharpie marks there. And then there's three back there, right in front of the uh, grommet there, and the ABS hole sensor is right in front of that. And over on the passenger side, you got the three on that flat surface there. The only tricky one is that one. The center of the hole is up on this uh, raised piece here. I'm not exactly, it's probably a strengthening plate, um, but it's gonna be kind of tricky to drill that. And then the other three, um, not that one, that's the old harness hole. So there's one there, two, and then three right there. And then in front there is the hole that the slot is lined with. And if you are gonna do anything with the fuel sending unit, like putting in the baffle plate like I'm doing, I suggest you do it now before the roll bar is in because you have a lot more space to do it. All right, so for the drill diameter for the holes through the car, I want a couple standard sizes bigger than the outer diameter of these threads on the bolts they include with the hard dog roll bar kit. Um, I'll show you the holes I did here. You can see there's my three holes. I kind of took a champ for a bit to them to deburr all the edges. You can see the three back there. And then the three over there. And then underneath this wiring harness there's three as well. But So I'm going to hit them with, um, I have some red Rust-Oleum paint and I'm just going to spray a light coat over the holes to cover the chamfer and raw steel edge that I just drilled through the car with. I know they're going to be sandwiched between two pieces of uh, backing plate, but they still could potentially get water to them, so I'm going to try to eliminate as much potential for corrosion as I can. So here's how the paint looks. Let's hit it with some red on the top of each of those and then some flat black on the bottom. Next thing I need to do is finish the fuel tank baffle plate. Uh, it's going to be interesting because I have more than a half a tank of fuel right now. Um, I didn't think about that before the winter came to make sure it was low enough. But I got to do that and then put the roll bar in and then work on getting the bulkhead back in and start trimming some plastics. Alright, so for anyone wondering how heavy the hard dog roll bar 
for the S2000 is I got it on two of my car scales here and it's actually lighter than I expected to see not too bad so we're looking at the two right side column numbers here 23 pounds on one side 21 on the other so it is 44 pounds basically the hard dog double diagonal roll bar that's fully loaded from their website with pretty much every option so 44 pounds I'm gonna be adding and now let's weigh the stock S2000 steel roll hoops to see how much we're actually adding to the car I'm not gonna weigh the plastics because the plastics I'm gonna to try to fit all back in the car of course I didn't include the steel backing plates on there so that may add a couple more pounds all right so here's the stock S2000 uh, roll hoops on one on each scale as you can see there's six pounds each so 12 pounds for the stock setup and then 44 pounds for this so you're really only adding 32 pounds to the car when you install the roll bar and my goal is to shave that 32 pounds away and one of the ways you can easily do that is to get a lightweight lithium battery that'll shed like over 20 pounds so that when you add the roll bar to the car, you're pretty much canceling out the additional weight from the roll bar if you tackle a couple more areas on this car. All right guys, so if you're working on your car alone here like me, this is how I suggest getting the hard dog roll bar in the car without any help. So this is the way it's going on the car. So I'm just gonna lift it over my neck like this. I can cradle it. Lift it up. Try to step in the car. Kind of balancing here because it's Stock bulkheads in my way a little bit. And kind of let it hang off your neck a little bit. Step on each side. Go ahead and try to gently lower it down. 